بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome all of you wherever you are I welcome you again with your program Fatwa Life and this is the first part on the on Sunday the 21st of Ramadan that we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to repeat it on us so many times with goodness and harmony and peace and tranquility. The first question from someone who is concerned, he said the hadith about whomever played with the imam until he leaves, it will be written to him uh, the night prayer. Well, the imam prays eight rakahs, then he leaves, and then another one starts on the shaf'a and water, maybe because the imam uh, make the water in the tahajjud. So is praying water with the imam who did not pray with the people? Uh, did not, um, is he get the, the reward? So he's supposed to be with the first uh, group until he finishes. Well, the tarawih could be, uh, could be unto different people. So, it's the whole group on the first batch of prayers. That's what is meant uh, until the Imam leaves. Wallahu alam. That you stay with the first congregation until they finish, and it will be concluded with water, not with the Imam who prayed and he left for a personal thing or uh, administrative uh, issues or any other issue. Wallahu alam. Another question. My husband, he has uh, leukemia and his health is getting deteriorated and he has written or advised to write the house of his uh, wife to his wife after his death and this is uh, a gift in his life or no and the rest of the state uh, half and half uh, and his wife bought a house in her name right now and he agreed to that there's uh, documents and uh, shares and cash in the bank and that's in America so how is it going to be distributed uh, he have uh, two, two male kids and four uh, girls or are we gonna go to the American uh, system uh, is the house that he gave to his wife is it going to be uh, part of the inheritance because he asked for it in his wife and his life my dear sisters there is a difference between an uh, a, a gift and the will the w the hip the gift is during the life a man can do whatever he wants in goodness that he has to be uh, even with his kids but in his life in his uh, but the one who is uh, diseased his uh, gift will be a will but the will Allah Azza wa Jal has given everybody uh, uh, decided the share of each one who inherits. So no one can give an, a will to someone who's going to in, uh, inherit. And any th gift that is given, if it's not received, is not going to be counted. And there is nothing in there. The In this the gift is gone the gift type is gone once the disease is um, uh, d is something of what you have mentioned leukemia and cancer and all this stuff the one who is about to die is well so and it will not be uh, done except with the permission of the one those who is going to inherit So after his death, if they want to fulfill the wish of their dad, they will. That's something that's uh, 
goodness from them to you and their father otherwise it will go to the rules of inheritance the inheritance in the death and the deceit if Allah Azza wa took his uh, soul I mean the guy's soul uh, your husband uh, you said there is a two of the kids and four of the uh, and, and you you get one eighth of what he has left and then the rest between the uh, the uh, males and females the male get double the share of the woman and this is a summary of it may Allah give him a, a quick recovery and uh, heal him from this uh, disease Another question. My daughter, she's a nurse. Uh, and that's in, in, in a clinic where they do the antibulation for people who are married and not married. She is this permissible uh, work. And she works in the infantry. Uh, fertilization of the egg for even the uh, gays and, uh, and those who are not married. Uh, she works in the emergency room in the educational part of the operation. The work in medicine is allowed whether she is a, a nurse or a doctor. But uh, there is also uh, certain things not to help into something that is forbidden, directly or indirectly. And the rest is in doubtful. So if she is in only the educational part, that's uh, more uh, easier than the direct uh, uh, way of being con in. Uh, contact with the part of the fertilization and in general uh, she could um, apologize when she thinks there is like something that's completely forbidden uh, and at least she could uh, deny it in her heart and purify her income to get uh, rid of what is doubtful of the things that are forbidden. Like when we're talking about those who are not married or the uh, they're not married or they're uh, homosexual, then she could uh, apologize for for that part because this is forbidden in the religion or something that is extremely seldom that it's, uh, it's really happened and she needs it at least she kept her denial in her heart of what uh, is going on and she c could purify her income from the part that she thinks is the percentage of the thing that is haram and Allah knows the best another woman asking I work in an Islamic school. After I spend my whole long day, I go back to my house so I could prepare the lunch. I go, what happens in the masjid? Because I teach Quran to kids. By that time, I'm out of energy. So when I sit with my husband and my kids, I sleep early and uh, I'm tired uh, and I feel really uh, like I'm shortcoming my husband and my kids. My kids are 16 and 18, they're not kids. But my uh, constant uh, exhaustion is definitely is uh, affecting my uh, personality toward my husband, uh, preparing myself to beautify myself to him. And he understand uh, my 
effort and he always encouraged me and support me and he thinks that the woman who uh, sits at home she's uh, have more problems um, and she th he thinks that I need to have my own income uh, from my work so I will not uh, put too much burden on his uh, uh, spending on my expenses or I could help him if he need uh, something I am in I am really uh, confused. I don't know what to do. Uh, do I need to leave this work? Uh, I keep only going to the masjid because I help my dad to help to pay his loans and uh, personal expenditure. I always ask Allah for sikhara, but I never really get to any answer to what I need to do. The uh, work has to be, first of all, uh, something uh, permissible with the interests of women and the acceptance from both uh, you and your husband, uh, the kids and take care of them is a priority. And to put the kids over anything. Keep the Islamic uh, rules when she gets out of the house what it looks to me if you have to reduce some of your work to make a balance uh, with the rights of your kids or your husband you could do so because you work outside And you're helping your parents in their expenditure and in paying their debt. But for the volunteering to teach the kids, there is no less something extra. And the obligation toward your husband is obligatory. So you don't do anything extra except uh, you f do the obligatory first. So discuss that with him, get his permission into this, and may Allah guide you to the best of matter. Me and my husband, we have a dispute on something very selfish. And he's very angry, he gets angry very quickly. And he doesn't know what he says. Uh, sometimes he says the words of disbelief. And when he said that, he will change all everything he said. He has swear to divorce me if he did this. Uh, and I did the same thing he did, and he had nothing wrong. He was satisfied. If the divorce has happened from the husband at the time of Iglaq being the maximum of anger where the anger was so strong that he did not have the attention nor the knowledge of what he is saying so it's not counted because of the hadith is that no divorce in Iglaq in, the, in that stage of complete unawareness of what you're saying if not then we ask him about his intention of that swearing if he swear that he will not enter except with his permission and he have permit that and he accepted it so that one is done but if he did not make an exception and he kept it uh, we have to ask about his intention if he intended that the divorce happens when you there's a uh, when there's a uh, uh, this agreement to them it, it happens if it is just to restrict this is something you could make the kafara on as this in Allah said to the kafara is to feed ten needy or their clothes or to free a slave if you can, then you fast three days. It is better for you. 
Oh, Allah say preserve your faith. That's how Allah Azzawajal show you his uh, somebody he will find like a space in front of him but he will find some uh, uh, he will bend to move something uh, in, in there like a bottle or uh, well I think that anything minor of of the movement that are minor like this should not ruin anything. It is one of the scholars said that he needs to do it when he's sitting down. But if he's standing up, it is disliked, because severely disliked. But it will not void the salah. And they have put if in summary the that minor uh, bend because of something of a need will not void your prayer. And everything that Allah Azza wa has left open, you look at what people know. If people said, then you go to what people, tradition. This is something we did in the prayers. That they, th then if they th think it's too much, this, this is too much. If this is minor, then it's minor. I'll give you an example. If someone, we oh have a kid, he held him so he could uh, stop uh, crying. So this man will get into his, uh, and every time he makes ruku or sujood, he puts him down. So you have different uh, things that he's they're using. A man, he has a lot of money that he bought a house for rent. But he didn't put it for sale because of rent modeling. When does he do the zakat uh, al-mal? Whenever he puts it for... Someone is asking, I have a house that was not sold uh, over eight years. Do I mean, do you mean that uh, do you have a, a database account? I think that's what's intention. If you are a merchant where you buy and sell, then you look every year and you look at the principal and the profit. Unless there is like a slowdown and there's no buying and selling, and it stays years over years. The this is on, on one year instead of uh, even if stays with him so many years. Uh, can I pay my father the zakah to his uncles uh, and uh, the wife of his uh, father's? Uh, even though he spent uh, money in their expenditure. because this father's situation is very uh, tight. So what about giving him the money for zakah? Yes, it's okay, it's a uh, zakah and uh, kinship.
What is the true about uh, the number of uh, rak'at in tarawih? It is uh, extra prayer that is exposed. The best is when the Prophet did eight rak'at and then but it is very common the companions they did 20 and don't make uh, a fitna tarawih is nafil that is open until soon the tarawih in Mecca is 20 now it's more closer to the sunnah which is 8 13 with the water and shafa and so on whomever could do the qiyam of the Prophet is enough for him 8 rakahs whomever can't do that they did the number of rakahs what is more supportive and closer to sunnah to pray 8 then we do water three and whomever chose the other one is 20 there is no uh, regret on that inshallah you only deny on the thing that is all agreed upon Is there an order? If the Quran is on the cell phone, do I have the same rules of folding it like the regular Quran? No, well, if you are, uh, you have to. The last question or the second question is it uh, is the order and wudu or is it uh, uh, yes that's what the agreement of the majority of the scholars and this is the guidance of the Prophet and one term is enough to do the obligatory the second third is uh, an extra sunnah from the Prophet is not open in your uh, chest uh, and, and uh, it's a sign that Allah is not happy with you or he is not set out no it's uh, be open minded be uh, know that everything in life struggles if how many people spend the whole year uh, pushing themselves uh, and the Prophet ﷺ talk, Allah talk about the people that they are the best of people, but they are disbelieving as if they are dragged to, uh, to the hellfire. And the heaven is full of the things that are not liked. So don't worry about it. It's inshallah, you always think positive. Push yourself into worship Allah if you had a struggle that's fine that's only natural and uh, after a while it will become very easy and this heavy uh, burden on the prayers or the or something it's uh, uh, not normal on the soul but if you keep pushing yourself uh, you'll be okay inshallah and this burden will go away and you will have the this the sweetness of faith the sweetness of worship of Allah keep your tongue uh, busy with the remembrance of Allah and keep your eyes down and stop talking too much and then an essential uh, talk Any talk without the mention of Allah Azza wa Jal is hardship, hardness to the heart. And that's the worst heart that's furthest from Allah Azza wa Jal.
May Allah heal you, my brother, and shall give you the best of reward. Al Hatif then depends on the rule. But the Hanafi is what do I do? You just follow the masjid that is closer to you. But if you go to pray by yourself, you pray what the majority are. And Isna in the United States is the best of uh, on the majority of uh, people here in the United States. We stop here, inshallah, continue after an hour or two. And we're looking forward to see you. Subhanakallah, bahamdik, nashadu wa la ilaha illa, nastaghfirullah, wa atubu ilaik.